All right guys, here we are once again with another informative video and today we're going to be comparing weighted pull-ups to lat pull-downs. So let's dive right into today's video. First, we're going to take a look at both of those exercises separately before comparing them to one another, starting off with the weighted pull-up. This is pretty much just a normal pull-up, but you're going to add weight to this exercise to make this exercise drastically harder. The main muscles that you target when doing your weighted pull-ups are going to be your lats and your biceps, but also your rhomboids, your core and your forearms. This exercise is very, very functional and it also has a very substantial carryover effect to other exercises, especially calisthenics exercises like the front end, for example. However, this exercise definitely is not for everyone since beginners will not be able to even do a pull-up, let alone a weighted pull-up. So the entry requirements for this exercise are substantially higher than the lap pull-down. A greater amount of stabilization is also required when doing your weighted pull-ups versus lap pull-down since you don't have a patch to keep yourself in a fixed position. And now let's take a look at the lat pull down. Here we're going to be pulling a horizontal bar down whilst you are seated. And the main muscles that you target with this exercise are once again going to be the biceps and the back muscles and also your forearms and your core. This exercise is less functional than the weighted pull up and it also has less carryover effect to other exercises. However, the biggest benefit of the lap pull down is that no matter how weak or how strong you are, you can always perform this exercise since the entry cost of this exercise is substantially lower than pull ups or weighted pull ups. And because you are kept in position by a pad, you need a lot less stabilization whilst performing this exercise. And if we compare lap pull downs to weighted pull ups in terms of the muscles that you use, you are pretty much going to use the exact same muscles. So your biceps and your lats, your rhomboids and also your core and your forearms. However, you are going to use your core substantially more when doing your weighted pull ups since like I talked about in this video, you need a lot more stabilization and you pretty much have to keep your own body stabilized when you're doing weighted pull ups, which you don't have to do when you're just doing your lap pull downs. And when you're doing weighted pull ups, you are also using muscles like your quads, your calves and your glutes to maintain the full body tension, which is something that you don't do when you're doing your lap pull downs. And now let's ask ourselves the question, which one out of two is going to be best? And like I talked about in previous videos, there is no right answer to this question because you always have to take a look at the individual, their goals and their training level. So first, who should do lap pull downs? Now, like I talked about in this video, one of the biggest benefits of lap pull downs is that no matter how strong or how weak you are, you can always do a lap pull down since you can adjust the weight and you can do a lap pull down with a very, very low amount of weight if you're just starting out in the gym. And so the lap pull down, in my opinion, is an absolutely amazing exercise to build basic back strength, back size, and to acquire basic pulling strength. And then who should do weighted pull-ups? Now this is pretty much where you will probably think that I'm quite biased since my channel is all about weighted pull-ups, weighted calisthenics, and it's generally just like weighted calisthenics training. I do pull-ups literally all the time, and I believe that when you are past the beginner stage and you have enough strength to do pull-ups or weighted pull-ups, I personally don't think that a lap pull-down is a great exercise for you since you pretty much work the exact same muscles but you get a lot more bang for your buck whenever you're doing your weighted pull-ups or your normal pull-ups compared to doing lap pull-downs. 
and so I believe that weighted pull-ups and normal pull-ups are vastly superior overlap pull-downs for the vast majority of people with the exception of ultimate beginners which can't do pull-ups let alone weighted pull-ups. I also believe that if you're going to the gym and you actually give a crap about your body and just generally your own physique, you should be able to do pull-ups because having the ability to pull up your own body weight is something that is not very difficult to acquire but has a massive amount of benefits that you don't get when you're just doing your standard lap pull downs. I see too many guys in the gym who have been training for years that literally can't do proper pull ups let alone do a decent amount of reps and my mindset is like if you train back what's the point of that if you can't do pull ups so I believe Whenever you have surpassed the absolute beginner stage, you should transition from that pull down to doing weighted pull ups since once again you get a lot more bang for your buck. So, what are my general recommendations? If you are an absolute beginner, build up your basic pulling strength to doing lap pull downs. But once you are no longer a beginner, transition to pull ups and to weighted pull ups. And with that being said, that is going to be everything I want to talk about in today's video. By the way, if you don't agree with me on my stance on weighted pull ups and pull ups versus lap pull downs, let me know down below in the comment section and let's have a healthy discussion. But for now, thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and share the video if you have any more video ideas questions or advice leave them below in the comment section see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one later